Hello YouTube, my fellow YouTubians. A travesty has occurred in my very dorm room. That travesty being that I am unable to play Warhawk, a magnificent online game that is just crazy because I don't even know to where to start. Okay, there are are so many levels of playing like you don't just play as the infantry person okay you play you can you jump in over warhawk like the jets of the game basically and that and then you could jump into a tank or a jeep or if you get the DLCs like I did you can use this cool like transporter ship vehicle and there are just so many things to do like it's like halo where when you start off you only have like a main weapon you have like a pistol that you can actually shoot as fast as you can like hit the like push the button trigger button and then you can find weapons are scattered like in set locations and it's kind of like halo in that respect because the weapons are scattered at like the good ones like you know you got assault rifles you got sniper rifles you got rocket launchers you got like an air artillery by binocular thing where you zoom in and like you can like send in to destroy things and then you got uh you have a knife that can like instant kill it's it's pretty cool and then you can ha re upgrade it into a wrench it still kills in one hit but then you can repair or damage vehicles with it and let's see I'm trying to I'm pretty sure there's another weapon pretty sure I said flamethrower hmm well, there's just, there's like nine, there's like eight weapons you can use. I mean, some are more scarce than others, but like, oh, the assault rifle, obviously. Um, like, I don't, it's just, it's cool because there's also like 32 people playing in one map, and it's like the maps are huge. Like, I mean, they're crazy. It's, and if you get the DLCs, you can get like jetpacks. And then you can you you're, you can be like a you can you know be in the air and you can hit them when they're you know people on the ground. It's like surprise, ha ha ha! It's pretty fun. And then there's like transport ships that can like take other ships and like or like uh, like jeeps and tanks and move them to another spot because like oh we need a tank over here, boom, problem solved. And it's like crazy. Like in the and when you get in your warhawk. Then you can, you know, th there's like sort of like different type of like missiles. So like you have your reg, you have your automatic um, like machine gun on your um, Warhawk. But then you can get like certain type of missiles, lightning missile stuff, and it's just so crazy how like the Warhawk and the infantry has so much depth, and yet so like two plane levels because you can attack people who are in the ground in your Warhawk, and you can fly around and do cool tricks and stuff, and the tanks and all those other things really don't have much of a like as much depth but you can still like use them just like I mean the tank obviously you can shoot people and the the jeep is fun because you can like e-brake around a corner and it's like yeah it feels so BA because it's like we gotta get to this checkpoint ah and like the art style of the game is really like interesting it's kinda like a almost like a World of Warcraft kinda like Cartoony, or more so maybe um like Team Fortress combined with like the Incredibles art style, kind of how they look and everything. And like I don't know, it's really easy on the eyes and the online battles are huge and there's just so much to do and it's just crazy how much how much fun it is. Except when your college doesn't allow you to play the dang game because of, I don't even know. It had to have something to do with a conflicting router hookup thing. I don't know. All I know is I can't play online and it's like, and that's all you can do in this game. That's kind of like, whoa. But that just makes like the online, because I mean, it makes online all that better. Because I mean, lots of people just sometimes even play games just for the online like I can probably guarantee that there's some people who just play Call of Duty online they haven't even touched the story mode and it's a shame because I, I the story probably is pretty good but like I don't know 
even though there isn't a story, you kind of get like the gist how like the Chernovans are the bad guys and they're like the Empire from Star Wars and the Eucadians, I think that's their name. You you get it like they're kind of like the rebellion and they have the good colors and you know the you Chernovans and like you can also customize your guy like you can't like the what the stuff that you customize him with doesn't really affect like how he plays to just like kind of like Halo the co Halo Reach more the cosmetics and everything well Halo Three also yeah but um just like it's cool because like you can like oh he has that he means he's like a level r really crazy level and there's no like prestige like in Call of Duty but it takes a long time to start like once you start getting into the higher up levels I mean it's crazy and also you don't just like level up but by getting a certain amount of experience you have to like do a certain like task in, in addition to leveling up like but the things that they have you do to level up by that time you've probably already done it like by the time I usually by the time I level uh, leveled up usually I already accomplished that task like a little bit beforehand I mean yeah like the find to become like the general or the last one you have to like be like I don't even know it's a crazy thing but it's like the fact that it takes so long probably won't you know you'll probably get it by that time but yeah I mean it's just I don't even know. It's just so heck. It feels like you're in real battle because you got like in real battle you got the you got jets and tanks and jeeps and it's just it's really cool because it's not it's like kind of like you could say mag almost except not as crazy. It's kind of like you know it's just got that right level of intensity where it's not just totally crazy but yet it's also really heck like it's not out of control. But yet you don't got guys coming in sprinting like crazy. There isn't a sprint button, which is weird. But you, your guy butt does move like generally pretty fast. Um, so that's that's at least something. And he can like jump crazy cool and like he can jump like I don't even know like five feet in the high. He can jump pretty high and he can also like withstand a pretty high like pretty long fall, which does come in handy, I guess. You know it's. I don't know, it's pretty cool, you know, they're, uh, yeah, but, I, 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 I would definitely suggest that if you can play this game, I would totally play it, it'd be a very good, it's a very good online experience, like, a, for online gaming, as far as online gaming goes, it's very good, you know, you usually don't get too much lag, I don't think, unless you just have a bad router and that just goes without saying. But if you've got a good enough router, I had a pretty decent one at home, and I didn't really have a problem. I usually die because I wasn't good, but that's a whole other story altogether, folks. But yeah, I mean, yeah, check it out. I mean, PS for the PS3 only, um, it'd be pretty cheap. Now it's definitely under thirty bucks. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how many people play right now. Probably, you still got some committed. Um, I mean, it came out like when, um, let's see, uh, where are you, like 2007, 2006, it was one of its earlier games to just kind of show off, I guess, the PS3's abilities, and, like, it can, it could support 1080, 1080i, so that's, back in the day, like, when first stuff, this HD stuff first came out, that was probably, like, I think it's 1080p is the best you can do. I'm not sure, but yeah, I mean, it's the visuals are amazing. You can also customize your Warhawk also, so you can have all these cool paint jobs on it. It's pretty gnarly, and you can have like cool insignias on your back, or like you can like have a little like insignia on your person. That also, it's one of those other customization things that you can also put on your Warhawk, and and each and you can have each Warhawk, each like the Chernobyl Warhawk and the Eucadian, like, you don't have to, like, choose one or the other, and you have to play on that side, it's like, your Chernobyl guy will look different from your Eucadian guy, like, the customization is separate to both of them, like, and you don't have to, like, one won't decide what the other looks like, so your war Chernobyl Warhawk will look, you can have it look different from your Eucadian Warhawk, and it's just cool, because, like, you'll walk up to your, like, in the game, like, you'll be, you walk up to, like, a plain old Warhawk, and then you'll go into it, and all, all of a sudden it has your stuff all customized on it and it's it's just all around fun I mean there's so much stuff you can do it really helps with the customization because like 
once you know where to find weapons, you're like, okay, I go to that spot, and boom, now I have, like, whatever. And there's a lot of map. There's a good amount of maps for how as big as the maps are, and it's just, it's cool. Like, there's a lot of things you can do, so. Buy it, or at least check it out. Um, Alright, uh, if you're watching this video, uh, tell me what you think about it, you know? Comment on, you know, rate it down below, or, and you should subscribe if you'd like, you know, I don't really know if you'd want to. If you're crazy, you know, if you like what I do, alright? Um, but anyways, yeah, comment, tell me how you like it. Alright, this is Aegon Game 69 signing off.